Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning WooCommerce theme development tutorial. This is our part number 26. Inside this video session, guys, we will discuss about modifying archive-product.php, and this is part number three. Inside this, we will see about how can we customize or let's say continuation of customization of archive-product.php by means of using action hooks. In the last video, we had understood that is without touching our template file, how can we customize by means of functions.php file. Now if I back to editor, now inside this file, so far we have added our own custom container as well as own custom row as we can see here. So if I back to browser, reload this page and inside this, if we go inside this inspect element, this is the container we have added and inside this container, we have all about our custom row what we have added. Now inside this row, what we want, we want call sm4 for our WooCommerce sidebar and one more column grid something call sm8 for our products grid. So we want to make, so if I back to here inside this functions.php, what is the planning? Planning is that we need to add call sm4, this is for our sidebar and we need to add another column call sm8 and this is for our products grid. So let's say that here, if I write a comment, this is for creating, let's say sidebar. So first of all, we need to make call sm4. So for creating sidebar, the syntax is something div. Here we have closing div. In between these two, here we will have sidebar. And here we have the class called class call sm4. So this is the syntax we need to create. So what I will do, copy this action hook called WooCommerce before main content. Add underscore action. And inside this action, A should be small. So add action. Inside this, this is our action hook name. And let's say that open sidebar. And here we have, let's say, column grid. And here we need to provide the priority. So as we have already taken about the fifth number of priority, so let's say it's all about six. What we have to do next, copy this function name. And we need to declare this function inside this file. So let's say function, function name. And inside this, let's say echo. And we are going to use div because we have to open that. And inside this, specify an attribute with the name of class. And let's say call sm4. All we have done, here we are opening that. After this opening call sm4, Next, we need to include the sidebar. So how can we achieve? Simply, if I copy this action hook, let's say add action. This is our action. And as we know that we have used remove action to remove our sidebar. And here is the respective function. So if I copy the function name called WooCommerce get sidebar, and we need to call it here. As already we have taken the priority as six, we need to define as seven because after this call sm4, we want this sidebar. Now, if we save this change and also finally we need to close this div. So what I will do, let's add action. Here, let's say if I copy this action hook name, pasting it here and here simply let's say close sidebar column grid and I'm going to provide the priority as eight save this change and finally we need to define this function so here let's say function function name and let's echo and simply write the closing of div and this is the closing of div now if we have if you save these changes back to browser reload this page and as we can see that inside this container inside this row we have call sm4 and inside this call sm4 we have our sidebar this is the sidebar now next we need to place this product grid into call sm8 so what is the plan we need to follow something we want all about div 
closing div and we need to make here something call sm8 and in between these two divs we will have the product grid so simply what I will do let's add action and inside this if I copy this before main content putting it here and I'm going to open let's open product column grid and here simply I'm going to provide as priority as a 9 copy this function name let's say function here is the function and inside this we need to open this div with call sm8 class so what I will do let's say call actually we need to define first about div and let's say that class here we need to write let's say call sm and 8 so after saving all these changes here we have opened all about call sm8 and finally we need to close that so what I will do add action inside this copy this action hook name pasting it here and let's say close product column and grid here this is priority of 10 so in the next we need to define these functions so copy the function name writing it here and let's echo here we have to provide the closing of div now if we save this change reload this page now this time inside this page we have the layout as custom container row call sm4 and we have call sm8 for these products so successfully guys we have integrated our custom template as call sm4 and call sm8 for this sidebar and we have prepared a bootstrap layout now our next task is that let's say that this is the sidebar what we have included inside this saw page now if we want to click on any of the product let's say on a single product detail now as we can see that this sidebar is also included inside this product details page this is which we don't want we want to include this sidebar only in case we have this saw page otherwise this is not available so how can we make and also at this page we have call sm8 for this saw page for product grid and if we open any page apart from that we want that these details will be of full width so what we have to do go inside here and for that we are going to use add action let's say template redirect inside this let's say that load template layout and what I will do we need to define this function so let's say function load template layout and I'm going to copy all the code from this closing div or product to this sidebar cut all the code and pasting inside this but before pasting we need to make sure that we have this saw page so how can we check we are going to use the same WordPress template functions what we have discussed inside our previous video if suppose how can we recognize this saw page we have a WordPress function for that if each saw this function is going to return true when we have our open page as a saw page it is going to return true and after finding our saw page we are going to include all the code what we have written inside this otherwise after getting any page apart from our saw page it is not going to include these things so if we save all these changes go here reload this page now we have a sidebar we have product details like product grid click on any of the and here as we can see that there is no sidebar as well as inside this elements we have no concept of any call sm4 or call sm8 all this information is going to take place at the full width so again if we redact on the saw page we have the concept of call sm4 call sm8 
for our sidebar and for our products grid. So this is how can we control all about the template layout inside WooCommerce. And this time we have achieved each thing by means of using our action hooks. This time we haven't touched about archive-product.php because if we back to browser and hover over on this and we can see that currently we are using the template from our WooCommerce plugin. We haven't created any template like WooCommerce like archive-product.php inside our theme. So here guys we have two ways to override our WooCommerce template either by means of making template file simply copy and paste inside WooCommerce folder inside custom theme add our custom div or simply we can use action hooks inside functions.php you have two options to customize or override now inside next video we will see the other pages of WooCommerce that is how can we customize so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day